Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools and I'm here to show you the new Lightning Data Viewer app for SharePoint Online. The Lightning Data Viewer app is designed to provide you with the ability to connect to external data sources and internal data sources such as SharePoint lists or business connectivity services and OData and connect to either a SharePoint list or that external data and then easily be able to build a view um, by selecting the columns that you wish to display and then applying formatting such as conditional formatting and, uh, and standard formatting. The web part provides you with full CRUD capability so you can insert data by clicking on to add new item you can also edit the data and delete the data so in order to configure the web part first of all you click the drop down and choose configure the app from the uh, from the settings drop down list and in here you'll be able to select your data source provider the display provider and also the refresh interval now under the data source tab we can select the list that we wish to connect to so here we've got the uh, tasks list um, selected and we can go and connect to lists that may appear in other team sites within inside the site collection on the columns tab we then are presented with the columns that are available from that SharePoint list or the external data source so if we connected to a business connectivity services external content type as an example that may come from a SQL or Oracle database then we would be able to select the uh, columns available from that table view or stored procedure that is behind the external content type so once we've selected the columns that we wish to display simply by hitting the checkbox we can reorder them so we can drag and drop the columns into the order that we wish to see them and we can also filter the data if we uh, choose to do so so here we could uh, for example uh, filter out any tasks with a certain name or who they happen to be assigned to or if it was a, a, a task due date that we wanted to filter on we could apply a filter for example tasks that were due today or tasks that were due within the next week for example we can also using the advanced filters option filter across columns so here we can choose whether we want an and or an or and add additional uh, conditions um, to our query so here we can say the task name begins with a particular letter or we could uh, for example say it was assigned to me and it was due today um, so it becomes an and that both of those criteria must be met it's also possible to add a calculated column so we can click onto the add calculated column and build in an expression so that expression could be the concatenation of two existing out of the box columns um, or it could be uh, we're, we're adding a value to an existing column such as VAT or tax to a unit price column for example. The display tab provides us with the columns that we've chosen for the view. Um, it provides us with the ability to format the data um, by uh, choosing whether it's a, a percentage, a short date or a long date for example. We can set column aliases and column widths in pixels um, we can also apply sorting criteria options so we could for example sort by the uh, task name in ascending and uh, if we sorted then second secondarily by something like the due date um, then we could choose which order we want to apply that to we've also got the group by option and we can group by multiple columns if we want to uh, we can uh, choose whether that column is shown um, so this would allow us to do things like build filtering um, on the data or by sorting by it without actually showing the column um, and we can also uh, align it apply bold italic underline uh, foreground four colors and, and background colors and also apply the conditional formatting so here's the conditional formatting that has been applied to that column already um, and what we're doing is applying a foreground color and a background color based on any task that is less than today and we can here add multiple um, uh, formatting uh, criteria and uh, actually add multiple formatting options as well so if I wanted to I could say well apply a different color and a different format um, to those cases where the uh, 
due date is greater than today instead of less than today and we simply uh, then click on to save and that saves our conditional formatting options we've also got the header configuration so here we can choose whether or not we want to show the column headers and how we want to align them uh, we have the data connections for the create update and delete options and which column we want to link on to open an item the grouping and sorting so here we can select the order in which we want to group and sort by if we were sorting by multiple columns whether those columns are expanded or collapsed initially and also do we want to show an item count per group as well and then we also have pagination options uh, so the number of items per page that we want to show and we can return an error message should there be no items rolled up so if that was the case it might be that we were showing tasks that were due today and if there were no tasks due today then we could show that uh, message so once we've done that we just hit save and that loads the items and you can see here the conditional formatting applying to that due date that was uh, fit for items that were due today okay so that completes the demo of the data viewer part this is a beta version of the product um, it is currently free to download uh, from the app store or also from this website if you have any uh, questions then please email them to support at lightningtools.com and we'll be happy to uh, to answer those for you and um, look out for this being launched uh, officially in March 2014 where it will uh, be able to connect to all of the data sources and um, a full trial available uh, version will be uh, on the website and also in the App Store. Okay, many thanks.